good morning to all the viewers and listeners myself dr ichha pura currently working as associate professor in botany in ranchi women's college i have been engaged in teaching and research activities since last 30 years and i really enjoy my profession today i want to share information about features of genetic code it genetic code has it has been possible to design the features of genetic code by the contributions made by nirenberg khurana and holle who got the nobel prize for medicine for their work of synthesis of polypeptide using artificially synthesized messenger rna the genetic code is a type of dictionary that identifies the correspondence between a sequence of nucleotide bases and a sequence of amino acids each individual word is composed of three nucleotide bases these genetic words are called codons the assemblage of codon is like a sentence this sentence keeps the information for deciding sequence of amino acids in a polypeptide the information of dna is decoded into polypeptide chain through formation of messenger rna by transcription messenger rna carries messages of dna's genetic code genetic code is the sequence of deoxyribonucleotides adenine thymine cytosine guanine present on the fragment of dna which acts as gene and is transformed onto messenger rna as sequence of ribonucleotides adenine uracil cytosine guanine genetic code is combination of codons each codon is sequence of three bases triplet which specifies amino acid specifies a amino acid as there are four bases adenine thymine cytosine guanine a combination of three bases can give 64 codons 4 into 4 into 4 that is 64 which are more than adequate for 20 protein amino acids some amino acids have more than one codon now with the help of this diagram we can see that the genetic code is furnished on messenger rna and is in the form of codon and each codon is triplet of bases the codons can be u u u u u u u c u u a u u g etc and in this way with three bases there are 64 possible codons of which 61 are assigned to amino acids some codons work for initiating the polypeptide chain are known as initiator codon are present on the five side of messenger rna like aug which codes for methionine there are some codons which are not recognized by any amino acids it is they are known as termination codons u a a u a g u g a and the codons are recognized by the transfer rna by virtue of anticodon and because of anticodon they are also able to pick a particular amino acid <coughs> now let us see the features of genetic code the code is triplet three bases or three letters code is universal a particular codon specifies a particular amino acid in all organisms in exceptional cases it is semi universal means a particular codon may differ in some organism code is degenerate more than one codon for a amino acid in case of more than one codon for a amino acid 
first two bases are specific and third is flexible or vowel one transfer rna can recognize all four codons as for example leucine has four codons c u u c u c c u a and c u g we can see that the first two are specific c u and the third one is uh, flexible and same transfer rna can be used to identify all the four codons coda code is commaless having no punctuation mark except stop signal code is non overlapping one base is used or read only once code is non ambiguous codes for same amino acid whether present at the beginning of in or intercalary exception in this is gug this gug when present at the start of messenger rna codes for methionine but when it is present in the intercalary position it codes for valine out of 64 codons 61 are assigned to different amino acids three codons the termination codons uaa uag and uga do not specify any amino acid these act as termination codons aug and gug are the two initiator initiator codons third initiator codon uug has been reported in archibacteria leucine arginine serine etc have six codons whereas valine proline threonine threonine allylene and glycine have four codons methionine and tryptophan have only one codon a collinearity exists between dna messenger rna and polypeptide chain open reading frame orf on messenger rna helps trans one open reading frame on messenger rna helps translating one polypeptide chain now this slide shows the genetic code and this in this slide genetic code is present as rna codons each codon has three letters first letter second letter and third letter in the first row the uppermost codon is u u u which specifies phenylalanine in in the same way u u c also specifies phenylalanine we can see leucine has six codons then methionine has only one codon that is aug which is also used as initiator codon valine has four codons gug guc gua gug gug when present in the start position codes for methionine but when present in the intercalary position codes for valine then there are three codons which do not specify any amino acid like uaa uag and uga these act as termination codons or stop codons and provide a stop signal for termination of polypeptide chain and are is generally present on the 3 end of messenger rna initiator codon is present on the 5 end of messenger rna now this slide also shows genetic code but in the form of dna codons like ttt thymine 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 phenylalanine ttc actually genetic code is present on dna but as dna cannot move and its messages is therefore carried by a messenger or carrier and that is messenger rna on messenger rna it is present in the form of ribonucleotides and on dna it is present in the form of deoxy ribonucleotides now this slide shows genetic code <clears throat> and this starts from one strand of dna a fragment of one strand of dna and here we can see a part of genetic code having uh, nine nucleotides and they uh, specify three amino acids this uh, this shows transfer rnas having anticodon and by virtue of anticodon they can recognize the codon and can also recognize the amino acid 
this is transfer rna for amino acid serine and this is transfer rna for amino acid tyrosine serine has the codone a g u tyrosine has the codone u a c now this slide also shows how um, using a dna template a messenger rna is formed and this process is known as transcription after formation the messenger rna moves to the cytoplasm and attaches itself with the ribosome and uh, along with transfer rnas help in synthesis of polypeptide chain that is known as translation here again dna polymerase is responsible for replication whereas rna polymerase is responsible for transcription and messenger rna carries the genetic information and moves to ribosome where it is involved in protein synthesis transcription and translation both together form the central dogma now this diagram again shows transcription using dna strand and after formation rna is moved out of nucleus moves to the cytoplasm where with the help of ribosome and transfer rnas the process of protein synthesis takes place and this part is known as translation and translation is the expression of gene this expression of gene takes place with the help of genetic code genetic code is carried by messenger rna the precursor of genetic code is dna in this way genetic code plays a very significant role in polypeptide chain synthesis or protein synthesis now with this the class is over thank you